Hey everyone, it's me and Daisy. I love this girl. I love it. I don't even have to lube these pacifiers up. They just fit in. This one's coming out a little bit, but it's a real soft nipple. So I switch over. Like, I just love this mouth. Like, it's so perfect. As a girl, it's so perfect. So this video is going to be kind of a preparing to do her drink and what. Um, I can't find the airline tubing that I had. So I don't know that I'm going to try it yet. I'm going to kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, so. These are my drink and what supplies. Um, I use with my first airline tubing. This is way, way firmer. And I like that. And actually, if her veg is about there, it would need to come out a little further. We might have just enough with this. And I like this one. So I might try it. Um, when I do this, I use lube to have the tube go up. Anything to go up for, I lube it up a ton because I don't want anything to rip. And this is just the cheap stuff from Walmart. And I have this because I can't find my X-Acto knife. And the only cutting that I'm going to need to do is cut down here and then cut on her mouth. But I'm going to keep looking for my X-Acto knife before I do that. And then what gets me is, so also another thing I needed because this is really a three-person job. And I use these pliers to kind of grab and pull it out. Um, I'm going to try to do this on film. If I do it today, I don't know yet. Um, my other thing is, so here are my tools that I use to make the drink and wet system. The reason I have this stainless steel straw is it fits over all three of these. I would just, well, we don't need to, whichever one I decided to use. And I would love your opinion on which one to use. Um, I don't know. This straw fits around it. And so once these make the hole up in her body, then this goes up around it and stays in her body for just a bit while I pull. And then I pull whatever one of these I use out, which I think I'm going to try using this because it's longer and it's, I, don't, I think I'm going to use this. Anyway, so this would go up in her body. Then this will go up at this, probably the same time. Once this is all the way up, I pull this out, which then just leaves this in the body and it won't go all the way this is the one that won't go all the way so this will go back to here and then i would stick the tubing because i'm trying to do this one handed and stay in frame Yoink. this tube would then go because this tube would already be inside her body then i would stick this tube up and feed it through and it just makes it easier because it fits through most of her body then i would have it come out of her mouth like so, I don't know, I might try this. I just need to find my X-Acto knife. This tube might be long enough. If it's long enough, I'm gonna try it. If it's not long enough, I'm just gonna pull everything out and try once I go get my, um, try once I get my, what do you call it? X-Acto knife. Now, however, with an X-Acto knife, I have in my handy dandy little kit here, why are you not clear? I'm so sorry, guys. It's not clear. It just says I want to. There we go. This is really sharp. This is really sharp. This is really sharp. And I could even use scissors and just cut, but I don't want to ruin her mouth. And so perfect the way it is. This really, this is not really sharp enough for what I need to do. So I would just use one of these two, and just probably this one, and just cut the slit back to fit the tube out. So I'll let you guys know, and I have silicone sealant that I would seal her all up with once I know it works, because I don't want to seal anything until I know it's working, because there's no point in sealing her up to just have to cut her open again. And I don't think anyone's made videos of it. This mouth is glorious. Oh, hold on one second. Ah, all right. She's, she's got, she's just covered in, um, what do you call this stuff? The, the powder. This mouth is just absolutely glorious how big it is. I mean, my finger fits to, uh, let's see here. It goes at least an inch in and it's just perfect because I'll just have to cut the teeny tiniest slit in the back of her throat right in the back 
let me do something where I can show you. Like, I would just cut the teeniest, tiniest slit, like right there, just enough to get that tube out. And so, because she already fits all the bottles I have. So, I'm sorry, the, uh, she didn't look very good with the light on because she's recently been powdered like crazy. I have three dogs. She's going to have hair always all over her. That's just the life she gets. So, I will make another video in the near future. I'm going to post this up because I just think it's fun to kind of prepare and show you guys how I do it. I've talked to quite a lot of, look at her, I love that you can see her little mouth. I talked to a lot of mommies about how they did her drink and wet system. And this is the way I found works best for me. It's a lot of elbow grease, but it works and the holes are small and very realistic. And I love that. So I will post this video and then decide what I want to do. Bye guys.